that you know today this is iron shirt. So it's a wonderful tool for healing and grounding and rooting. Uh, before we start, I always like uh, to start with uh, shaking to open the whole body. So let's shake. We start with a gentle shake. Put the eyes closed. Relax your ankles. Your car, the knees, your legs and thighs, your hips and pelvic area. Relax your abdomen. Relax your chest. Your shoulders. And your entire arms. Bring down to the elbow, down to the wrists, down to the fingers. Relax your neck. Relax your head, your skull, your eyes, your jaw, and breathe. Now we go faster, shake faster. Now shake as fast as you can. At three, you will stop and stay still with your eyes closed. One, two, and three, stop. Now feel the energy moving in your body. Okay. Now let's all take a chair. We're going to do a quick um, breathing exercise. So we say that 
um, only when the breath stop, the true breath begins. So when we are a baby, at least in the fetus, in the womb, um, the baby doesn't breathe through the nose, it breathes through uh, the umbilical cord. So this is how the baby was breathing before. And um, if you manage to go deep into these techniques, it can um, create wonderful sensation of uh, being reborn. So we're going to, not, we're not going to do a deep one, but I'm going to show you because it helps as well for the Iron Church. So we're going to put our hands here on the side. We're going to inhale, then exhale. And then we're going to inhale without inhaling. So you're going to pretend you're going to inhale again, but without the actual air going into your body. And we're going to hold our breath until you can't hold anymore. And try to push a little bit beyond your, your, um, your breath. And there's a time where your diaphragm will stop moving by itself. And this is where uh, you will feel a lot of, um, of energy or prana in, um, in, uh, for yogi. And uh, you will feel it uh, accentuated and becoming more powerful. So let's start. Inhale. Exhale. Take all the air out of your body. Now inhale with the inhaling. When you can't breathe anymore, you come back with your eyes closed. Now just feel your body, feel your breath, your state. Until the breath become, uh, until we can't perceive the breath anymore. And uh, I forgot to mention that during, um, during the, when you hold your breath, you can contract your, your anus and perineum at the same time as you breathe. Well, as you breathe, as you pretend you're inhaling. It adds uh, an extra boost. Let's do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale with that inhaling. Which one are you holding there? I'm not holding anything. I'm just putting here. You can hold your nose. I will the uh, hand here. With the fingers. So I just hold like this. So you inhale, you inhale without inhaling. Uh, it's it's and perineum. Pulling up. And when you can't hold your breath anymore, you come back. And you close your eyes and you feel your body. Excuse me, Nathalie, do you, do you block one of the nostrils or is you breathe with both nostrils? You don't breathe at you don't breathe at all. So you the first time when you take the hair, do you have with two nostrils or do you block one? Because what I'm doing is because I'm like this, I thought that I needed to block my nostril, but yeah, I don't. Block two, you block two of your nostrils. Okay. Okay. Let's do it again one last time.
And we're actually going to do a last one afterwards. And uh, as you inhale, without inhaling, so when we're in um, the blocking period, blocking the breath, you're going to look up with your eyes closed. So with your eyes closed, you're still going to look up and you're going to bring the energy. And as you exhale and you come back to normal, when you can hold the breath, for those who know the microcosmic orbit, just circulate the energy into your body. It's a very powerful thing if you, if I actually manage to explain it properly. <laughs> Let's do it again. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale all the air through your mouth. Blow your nostril and inhale without inhaling. And bring and um, pull the anus and perineum up and look up with your eyes. If your channels are open, you can actually feel a, a state of uh, bliss. Very good. Now let's stand up again. This exercise was to help you to feel more the energy circulating into your body. And now one of, one of the most healing uh, iron shirt techniques I've ever felt one of the iron shirts. If it's uh, the, the posture, it's a, uh, is a, uh, done properly with a certain amount of time. So for those who never did that before, so remember the outer feet are parallel, so not the inside, but here, and it's shoulder wide. So to know, you go back and the knee should touch your, the outer feet. The knees are screw out, so my knees here are normal. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to screw. So basically when you screw, I should feel a suction on my feet under my feet on my soul, which will help you to connect to the, to the earth. So this is a key point here, that will uh, suck the energy. And then we're going to connect our crown, so the heaven energy, and all this will come into our body. So again, out of it parallel, the need of screw out, the core, which is here, the pelvic area, we open. So you can put the buttocks basically in, the sacrum in, and the quad goes out. Then, because the quad goes out, I'm going to show here, automatically my sacrum, my sacrum will be in. Automatically, sacrum is in. Then the lumbar goes out. So you sit but don't sit. One of the very crucial elements of uh, Qigong and uh, any other practice is that you're going to sit, but just before you sit, you fall. This is your position. Just before you fall, this is a, this is an ideal position. And to counterbalance the fall, you put your hand in front. So the sink is a chest sink here. So I'm not straight. I'm not. I don't. I'm not putting my breast. I sink my chest. And my chin goes in, so not down, but in. So remember. And the fingers are not uh, soft. They're activated. The tendons are activated. And at all times, keep the connection to the earth. And as your spine is straight, 
your crown is directly connected to heaven, to the universe, and you should feel the energy going down from the earth and the energy coming up from the heaven. And shoulders are relaxed. And it's like you're embracing the tree, so the, your arms are not down like this. It's really like you're hugging a tree. So it should be around. And the chin is in to have the spine straight and not curve as a mess. And you can close your eyes. And we're going to stay like this 15 minutes. Usually it's after 30 minutes that you feel the real benefits, but because of time, we're going to do 15 minutes. So if you feel any pain, just move a little bit your body, especially in the arms. It means that you put, you put maybe too much tension in your arms. So relax your arm, but with still the tendons activated. And if you start burping or farting, it means that it works and you're in a good position. Because this position opens your body, releases blockages from your body. So if you start burping, it means it works. So remember, sacrum in, the lumbar are out, chest in and chin in. Tendon activated, shoulder relax. And the legs are screwed to the earth. So if you need to be grounded, if you need to be centered, this is one of the best exercises you can ever do. Remember, tendons are still activated. The shoulder relax and the fingers as well are activated. And this position, it's a very wonderful philosophy of life, actually, because you need to be relaxed and soft, but strong at the same time. And if you feel any pain anywhere, this is where your blockages are. And it's also a form of meditation. And feel the energy moving. Going from the earth, going to the back of your body. Crossing with the heavenly energy, going back front of your body.
feel like a tree rooted to, to the floor, to the ground, to the earth. And if it's become too hard, you can move slightly with your feet back to front, just like the wind try to blow. So in life, if you're centered and if you're grounded, doesn't matter what things happen in your life, you will always be okay. Just like a tree. You can have wind, the trunk is still there. So it. Internal strength and outer strength. But if you start feeling dizzy, please stop. Nauseous as well, please stop. And if you can carry on, carry on. Feel like you're a tree. Nothing can blow you away. So what if it's becoming too hard with the arms? You can put your hands on your navel like this. And keep the posture. Keep the connection to the earth. Feel the sole, the sole of your feet connected and pumping the earth energy. Feel the energy from the crown. Connect to your body and feel your body. Feel what is going on. You can go into meditate, meditative state to understand what your body is trying to tell you.
few minutes left. Feel what your body is trying to release, any toxins, any emotions that comes out. Does it, your body try to push it away? Three minutes left. Remember, relax your shoulder, don't keep tension. Muscles are not activated, only tendons. As we go towards the end, feel more and more the earth flowing into your body, mixing with uh, the heavenly energy. So there's second left. That is good. Congratulations. Keep your eyes closed. You can move a little bit your legs, your arms to release a bit any tensions. You can shake if you wish. Now we're just going to stay still with, the, with our eyes closed and feel our body, the benefits.
be much lighter unless you have uh, emotions that come out. In that case, you might feel some uh, heaviness in some part of your body. And you can smile to your body. And we're going to bring our hands in front of our heart, still with our eyes closed. And let's thank our body with a smile, gratitude, love, joy, and happiness. I say thank you, my body, for telling me where, what I need to work on, what I'm holding onto, what I need to express. And especially thank you, my body, for keeping me healthy and my feet. So we're going to finish with the deep breath. Inside our body and exhale inside your body through your nose with a smile. Now we can do three times in total, so two more times. Inhale and exhale in your body with a smile. So that's good for today. If you want to share anything or any questions, you can ask. So for Chris, uh, he shared that he felt heaviness from earth energy and uh, his hands like metal magnet attracting each other. Initially, activation of the tension, good vibes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. So, yeah, it depends. If you feel heaviness from uh, the earth, it means that um, you have uh, blockages in your body, and uh, the earth energy is trying to move inside to clean your body. It's a purification. So, if it's heavy, it means that there are stuff that are trying to move. So, it's a good okay. thing. It's very yeah, uh, I understand from our teacher that. We have to feel the earth energy in our hands to be very strong. Everywhere. But uh, the connection, as I said, the, fit, the, the kidney point is here, which is the, okay. direct, the direct point of um, the suction from the earth. So ideally, if you can do it 30 minutes, the results are, are even much more efficient. And uh, the way it purifies your body, it's really, really beautiful and uh, very healing. So I highly recommend if you can do it step by step, 30 minutes in one go, it's a lot. So that's why go slowly 15 minutes, try for one week and then 20 minutes and so on. And um, I really guarantee you that your body will feel completely different. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And it forces the body to be, um, it forces our mind to be connected to our body because a lot of people disconnected 
from the body and this position forces you to go inside oh i feel pain here oh no i feel here oh no my for example for me my heart felt heavy well, okay it means that i have a lot of emotions around my heart that need to to get out so everybody will feel different and uh, it's good to um, to bring it out sorry i said my upper front legs had a tension because of the spine contraction is it normal well everything that is tensioned it's blockages and uh, usually things that are linked to legs um, if you have any pain, any uh, surgery that happens, it means uh, that we have resistance to transformation, to change. So it's important to understand that uh, every part of your body says something. So if you have tension around the leg, it's, um, it's a resistance to transformation. <laughs> Unconsciously, obviously. We don't say, oh, I don't want to change in your, in your conscious. But unconsciously, there's some resistance. Sometimes some emotions that you hold on to and you don't want to let it go. It, uh, and therefore, the transformation um, that wants to take place is a bit harder. So you will feel some stuff in your legs. So. But the whole body was activated, right? Not very relaxed. The whole body, yes. Yes, so all muscles. Actually, it's not the muscle. This is the whole point. So the, this, uh, this, this is why this exercise is very beautiful, is because you shouldn't use any muscle. That's why you shouldn't be tired. So some people when they're like this in this position, when I say we activate the tendon, we activate. So we do this. But my muscles are not activated. I shouldn't contract, my muscles shouldn't be contracted here. Just like my legs, it shouldn't. This is a beauty. That's why you see sometimes in martial art, they don't use any strength because this is how you use the strength of the opponent. It, uh, it, uh, it, the, it, the energy and the strength and the force from the earth. And that's why you can use someone else's strength. That's why our strength doesn't matter. It's how you can channel the earth. And then the person can move, can, can, can attack you. Doesn't make any difference because you're like a tree, you're strong and the energy supports you. Just like in life, anything that happens, the, the earth supports you. And in this position, the heavenly as well supports you. So you have nothing to worry about. You're strong, you're inside out. So it doesn't matter what happened in your life, you can be slapped, you're still there. It's a philosophical part of this position, this exercise as well. But if you lift your arms, you still have to hold them, right? Somehow, so <laughs> otherwise they will fall down. <laughs> if you do this, look, for example, I don't have much muscle, but I will, I will try to explain. So for example, if I'm like this, look, my tendons are just activated. But now look the difference. You see here, now my muscles are activated. But if I just do this, my tendons are activated without my muscles. Does it make sense? Here, only my tendons. And here, I have my muscles. You can see. So your muscles, yes, are used, but they're not tense. And this is the beauty in this exercise. It, it okay. teaches you how to be relaxed using only uh, the energy from the, from the universe mm -hmm. and how it can heal you. Uh, the first time I feel healing from, um, from the earth, it was through this position. It took me 30 minutes. So Alice said, I had pains in my back, shoulders, and arms. I needed to move like dancing the upper part of my body. I feel like I felt this exercise, exercise today, maybe not next time. <laughs> so this, this is an exercise uh, that takes time. It's not in one go, but you will know, oh, I'm relaxed and I can stay one hour. My teacher who taught me this, he'd stay two hours like this, two hours in this position. So that's why it's, uh, it's not something you do it in, in just one time, in one go. It's uh, with practice that it comes and it shows you, okay, where I need to relax. And when you master this position, being relaxed and not tired without using muscles, that's it. You don't need anything else. No other practice. You use the earth to clean yourself, you block, especially if you want to do Kundalini, earth energy, sexual energy. The spine, it goes through the spine, outside the spine actually. Everything goes, it helps in everything. 
Like it took me, it took me actually one year to understand how powerful this simple position was powerful, how it, it could help. So don't worry about that. Uh, Darren, my blockages is around the throat and neck area, as well as the thumb and neck area of both hands. Pituitary gland. <laughs> so pituitary gland, uh, what we did, the first exercise with the breathing, it's a very good way to connect to this gland. If you put the tongue, this is very advanced technique, Taoist and tantric technique as, a, uh, as well. So the, thumb, the, the palate, the mouth has three areas. So to reach the pituitary gland, the tongue has to be at the back of the throat, very deep. And by doing this, it activates the saliva gland, which can connect directly to the pituitary gland. So uh, this is a wonderful thing to do as well, if you want to, to do this technique again, but it's quite advanced. Uh, this I need to go deeper into the theory and the practice um, to teach you that. Um, <coughs> yes, Darren. Yeah, were you blocking both nostrils in that breathing exercise? You don't have to, but if it helps you, yes. So it was to hold here and then breathe in. Yeah, the idea is not to breathe at all. So if it, if you can block your nose, it's uh, it's good if you can breathe without blocking your nose. It's better to both are good. So for you, the are the blockages around the throat and, and neck. Yeah, it's uh, it's something you knew already. Yeah, yeah. So it shows. So more you channel, more you channel the earth energy more your blockages can, can, can clear out and mm. then circulate better. So this is very good as well. So Chris, yes, activating the muscle, there are stuff, yes. The muscle shouldn't be hard, yeah. Uh, so then I feel like three, I felt some tension sometimes on the shoulders. Yeah, so that's why when you start, it's hard to keep the shoulder, like so sometimes just move a little bit uh, you can do this and come back. If you want to stay longer in the position and it's too much, just come back here and stay longer. It's really, the goal is really to feel the earth and the heaven energy. Chris, the concept is in martial arts. Yes, it is. Using the force, the other force. I will think about it. I did Kung Fu. Yeah, so in any martial art, uh, it's the same. In Kung Fu, if you do Tai Chi, anything, everything is about this. About this. And uh, even in yoga, it's the same. It's, uh, it's not about using your own strength, it's about connecting to the earth. It's the same principle in any spiritual path, everywhere. And that's why even in uh, Buddhism or, or even monks, or when every, it's shaman, in shamanic um, practices as well, they're connected to the earth. You have their own nature with the trees. It's the same principles. So then I felt light and energy going from the arms, going to the earth. That's very good. <laughs> Sorry, ah, yes, beautiful. Uh, thank you, Maria. I'm happy you found it powerful. And Chris, I have the feeling you can teach martial art. <laughs> I did some martial art, but um, that is a very good way to do soft martial art. So thank you guys for sharing. I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, Aaron Short Chivon once again more you go deeper into this and uh, more you will feel the healing energy of mother earth i can't stress enough how this actually changed my life especially when people are hardly grounded and are a lot in their head and they think too much this is very very good to do and if you have too much energy in your mind uh, and you're disconnected from your body and then you go and you're there this is wonderful techniques as well to do. Very good. Any other comments, sharing? No. no, thank you. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day. Thank and you very much. Oh, tomorrow it's 1.30 Irish time, by the way. Okay. And it's Qigong. Uh, can you give up the uh, subtitle? The what? Subtitle? Don't know. I think uh, that uh, the... 
I think it's you can do it uh, with the uh, Zoom. <laughs> It uh, oh, will. Uh, I think uh, you will be more comprehensive, uh, more uh, for uh, who doesn't speak English very well, like me. <laughs> I can try. Uh, I don't know how, but I will uh, check if it's possible. I think uh, you can. Uh, I read someone something, uh, and uh, I think that uh, the owner of the uh, meeting uh, can do it uh, for himself. Okay. I will uh, look into this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry for the okay. question. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Natalie. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. Well, thank you. We'll do.